Oh, blessings. So today I'm talking about Nadis, it's Galder and Stada. But before I get into that, I wanted to, um, I haven't talked about this yet, but some of the more um, internal work that I do when I work with the um, rune stadas. So with Nadis, all right, this is the stada, right? Um, I do both sides, of course. <clears throat> but so in standing in the stada after doing the the galder, the mm, really feeling the vibration, of course, mm, feel it in your toes, feel it in your tips of your finger, feel it vibrating here. You want that whole sound to totally resonate within your body, right? So you're standing in the posture and you do the galder, so you're activating the energy within yourself. And then as you stand here, you're holding it, okay? That, um, and, and in this case, I would suggest holding it for at least a minute, one side, and then the minute the other side. And um, of course, you'll, you'll find out after uh, maybe 20, 30 seconds that it's tiring, you know? It takes a little work. But we're not focusing on that at this point. When, when I talk about the internal work, we're more about trying to feel the energy balance within your system so you can tell each way that you hold your body it affects you know it affects your muscles it affects your joints and your your bones and everything even your organs everything's affected by how um you hold your body right so feel that feel that experience allow it to build build and don't resist it don't try to like be tight as you're fighting to hold the posture no 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 just be relaxed Try to relax all the muscles. And as you do that, you'll start to feel subtle shifts of energy. And, and with that, sometimes then um, thoughts come up, memories, uh, things you're struggling with, whatever it is. Right? You just want to be present with that. Not fight it, not struggle with it, not wrench your teeth at it. Just recognize what it is that you need. Recognize what you need, right? What is it that you need in that moment? And you'll find um, as you come, at least I've found, that as I can resolve an issue, when I can truly relax, there's a tendency, not always, but there's times when I experience that pressure, that weight, that gravity pulling down on my arms lessen. As if I've actually let go of some weight. And then again, to the other side. And sometimes it might, uh, whatever issue or whatever arises, sometimes it might be the same thing as it was on the other side. Uh, in my case, it generally doesn't. There's some other thing that pops up. Um, so yeah, so that's like the internal work that I do with all the runes, but in this particular case, when Nadiz, it's just, uh, it felt right to uh, emphasize um, that aspect of working with rune yoga, that, uh, that uh, um, internal work of self-cultivation. And, uh, and, and need, I think, is a good place to, to um, recognize that because we do need stuff. There's, there's no shame in that. There's no wrong in that. I mean, just from the, um, just from the physical level, there, there's certain things that need to be in order for these walls to exist. I mean, they, those things need to be present for these electronical things, for this video to even be recorded. There's a lot of things that need to be in place in order for that to happen, right? So there's need at that, like that physical state. So food, air, water, shelter, right? Those are freaking essential needs that need to be in order for us to truly blossom and become empowered. And so, and so that's what we seek to stabilize and then increase, right? We, we seek to recognize our needs. We seek to, um, to fulfill them. So, that, so for our, for, in order for us to truly uh, become you know, anyhow, so blessings. Be well.